Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Chris time. And today I will be reading The Three Little Super Pigs, Once Upon a Time, written and illustrated by Claire Evans. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They dreamed of becoming superheroes. In fact, they were so obsessed that their family house became cluttered with all of their superhero collections. So one day, Mother Pig told her little superheroes it was time to find their own homes, and she waved goodbye. They walked for hours crossing dangerous rivers and climbing steep cliffs, until finally they arrived at their destination, Fairyland. After an exhausting trip, the pigs decided to set up a camp for the night and build their new homes in the morning. Welcome to Fairyland. While toasting marshmallows in their superhero costumes, the pigs met a new friend, Little Red Riding Hood. She warned them about the big bad wolf who'd been terrorizing Fairyland. The wolf had kidnapped Mary's little lambs and stolen sheep's clothing. He'd even been disguising himself as different grandmas and stolen their clothing. The pigs were warned to be on their guard. The next morning, two of the pigs were desperate to play superheroes with their new friends so they built their houses as quickly as possible. The first little pig chose straw to build his house and, and gathered all he could find. The second little pig chose to build his house out of sticks and he collected them from high and low. And in no time at all, their new homes were ready. While his two brothers were having fun, the third little pig was patiently building his house out of bricks. He wanted to make sure it was strong and sturdy, so he worked very hard. Finally, all three houses were ready and the pigs were very happy in their new homes. Suddenly, the first little pig was startled by a terrible growl outside his window. It was the big bad wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he cried. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, squealed their little panicked pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, growled the wolf. Whoosh! And with one puff, he blew the house in. The first little pig ran for cover to his brother's house of sticks. Little pig, little pig, let me in, howled the wolf. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chins, cried the pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed and he... Whoosh! He blew the stick house all in. Dodging the flying sticks and falling debris, the two little pigs ran as quickly as they could to their brother's house of bricks narrowly escaping the nasty wolf who was getting very angry and very hungry. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, demanded the wolf. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chins, the rip pigs replied. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, screamed the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but the brick house would not blow in. The wolf was furious. Suddenly, the little pigs were startled by a loud clanging noise from outside. The cunning big bad wolf had made another plan to climb onto the roof and sneak down the chimney. Two of the pigs started to panic, but the third little pig had a super plan. He had been boiling a pan of water on the fire all along. So as the wolf came hurling down the chimney, he fell bottom first into the bubbling hot pan. With a piercing shriek, he jumped out of the water and straight into the pig's nest. The big bad wolf was defeated. The pig waved goodbye to the silly old wolf as he was carted off to prison. With Fairyland safe at last, the pig's dreams of becoming real superheroes had finally come true as the whole town cheered their new special name. Hooray for the three little super pigs! The end. Bye, boys and girls.